Hello viewers, welcome to Arlene's Recipe Corner. Here's a glimpse of today's cooking. If you're watching this video and you see the subscribe button in red on your screen, please click on the subscribe button to become a subscriber to my channel. Today's cooking is a vegetarian gravy which I have named Paneer Tandoori Gravy. Having questions why tandoori gravy? Please watch the whole video. A quick view of the ingredients. Grind all these ingredients to a smooth paste. Do remember not to add any water. A tip here, add tomatoes first. It helps in blending the masala well. So into a kadai or a non-stick pan, a tablespoon of oil and a teaspoon of butter, allowing the butter to melt, adding a teaspoon full of Shezwan sauce. This is a homemade sauce and the link is in the description. 200 grams of diced paneer. Here I have taken the milky mist paneer, it's soft, tasty and does not have the taste of the milk after cooking. My kids love this. So this is done and you can see the paneer is well coated in the red shezwan masala. Remove it and keep it keep aside in the same pan again 25 ml oil and a little butter allow the butter to melt adding 1 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds and allowing them to splutter adding whole spices cardamom 2 cinnamon 2 and cloves 2 this is the ground masala, fry it well for a minute and cover the pan to avoid any oil spluttering out. Let the masala fry well, so cover and cook on medium flame or low flame for 2 after minutes. Two minutes and after 2 minutes the masala is well the cooked. masala is well coated and cooked. Here I am adding fresh methi leaves, a tablespoon of it because I did not have kasuri methi in stock with me at home. If you are using the kasuri methi, please use it at the end to garnish. Add 100 ml of water, turn the flame to high and allow it to boil. Salt to taste, never forget this. Twenty five grams of tandoori masala. I have taken the Eastern Tandoori Masala here and that is why I have named this gravy as Tandoori Masala Gravy as I am not using any other spices. Adding in the fried paneer, stirring that well. Here I am not adding any artificial colors and hence you can see the color of the gravy is a slightly dark green. Mix well, cover and simmer for 4 minutes on low flame. After 4 minutes, the gravy has thickened and you can see the oil is floating on the top of the gravy. Paneer Tandoori Masala is ready. Do relish this with rotis, parathas, dosas, idlis or with rice. Do not forget to garnish it with juice of half lemon. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have liked it. Click on like, share and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you soon with another video. In the meanwhile, please watch my other videos too. Thank you. Take care.